Hello students I hope all of you are fit and fine and doing well Today we are going to continue with the lesson plant preparing and storing food In particularly we will be learning about how do plants use their food so let us start So as i said the lesson name is plants preparing and storing food which we have already started and we will be learning about how do plants use their food so let us immediately start so how do plants use their food well the food prepared by the plant is in the form of simple sugar it is used in number of different ways by the plants it is used to get energy some of it is used for growth extra food is stored in the form of starch in leaves stems or roots we eat that part of a plant which has food stored in it so these are some examples of parts of the plant where plants store their food for example fruits leaves seeds roots stems plants can store their food in any part some plants like cactus do not have leaves so where then is their food made it is made in their green stem because they don't have leaves they prepare their food in their stems molds and mushrooms are non green plants in fact they fall under the family of fungi they do not have chlorophyll they cannot make their own food if plant or the part of the plant doesn't have a chlorophyll then it cannot prepare their own food they get their food from dead and decaying plants and animals okay this we are talking about molds and mushrooms so these are some unusual plants these are cactus which do not have leaves these are molds and mushrooms which are non green plants or you can call them as fungi also and these are croton these crotons they have red leaves okay they have chlorophyll but it is not visible So the leaves of some plants like croton have chlorophyll but they appear dark red and why because of the presence of red colored pigment or the substance that hides the green colored chlorophyll does photosynthesis takes place in such leaves the answer is yes it does because it has a chlorophyll in it the only thing is we cannot see it because of this red colored pigment now these are some activities where we can prove that green leaf have a starch or um, the leaves which have chlorophyll only they can prepare their food the things that we said earlier these activities are going to prove it okay so this activity will prove that green leaf have a starch or not what we have to do you have to take a fallen leaf then you have to bleach the leaf by first boiling it in water then in alcohol then you have to wash it in cold water then you have to take it in a petri dish put some drops of iodine and wait and wash the color of the leaf what you will find is it turns blue black this shows that starch is present in a green leaf then this is activity number 2 what we have to do here you have to take a healthy potted plant and keep it in a dark for 24 hours then what you have to do you have to cover the part of the leaf with a strip of black paper okay and keep the plant out in a sunlight for 4 to 5 hours then what we have to do you have to bleach the covered leaf by first boiling it in water then in alcohol like in earlier activity then you have to wash it in a cold water and then you have to place this leaf in a petri dish put some drops of iodine and again wash the color of the leaf you will find that the part of the leaf which was covered with a black paper does not turn blue black this part of the leaf does not contain starch because it did not get any sunlight so sunlight is needed for photosynthesis let us see next activity activity number 3 this proves that this particular activity will prove that chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis what we have to do you have to take a coleus leaf which is not completely green which doesn't have chlorophyll in certain part of it then what we have to do you have to draw its outline on a sheet of paper mark the green and non green area then what we have to do you have to bleach the leaf by first boiling it in water then in alcohol then again you have to wash it in cold water place it in a petri dish add few drops of iodine 
and then you have to wash the color of the leaf. The part of the leaf which was green in color shows the presence of starch. It shows that a green substance that is chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis. So this particular part turns into blue black color. Okay, and middle part doesn't turn into blue black color. This shows that chlorophyll was present in this particular part. Okay, so chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis. Well, that was all from my side. These are some questions that you, you can try out at home. The first question is photosynthesis takes place in leaf, flower or root. You have to select the correct option. Second, the main vein leaf stem is found by double pipeline of a cell. So you have to select among vein, leaf and stem. Plant prepare food in the form of simple sugar or salt. Okay, you have to identify the correct option among this. Next question is what is bleaching and last question is give an example of plant whose leaves are not green. These questions are quite easy because we have already discussed the topics related to these questions in our session. But still if you have any doubt you can always contact me by placing your comments in the comment box. I will try to answer all of them. Okay students so... That was all for today. Thanks for attending this session. See you in next session with the new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.